Hello ladies and gentle faggots. I'm out riding with my stepbrother today on his little pit bike. And I just got back from the green belt, which is like a little swim creek here in Austin. It's a lot of fun. I went with a couple of my friends. Um, saw some kids from school. It was a good day today, actually. I have no work. I gotta work tomorrow, though, which is kind of AIDS, but it's not that bad. Look at that bug. Family. Squad. Oh, that girl had her mouth open looking at my bike. I don't know if you guys can see that. She loving it, bro. I think the gas is on. Oh. First kick, would you look at that? Boy, oh boy. Make sure there's no cars. Oh yeah, I forgot you kicked down on this thing. So! Um, I haven't made a video in a while. But that's because I've been selling my bike. And I actually did sell it. Uh, for a decent amount of money. And I was supposed to go get a new bike on, um, on Wednesday. But there was a problem with that bike. Because I couldn't get the... Look at this person just pulling out like that. I, I was going to go get the DR350 and I went, I drove an hour and a half or something to go get it and when I got there I couldn't start the bike it just, at first it wouldn't start and then it was really hard to start once we got it to start it just, it was a, ugh I was really upset about it the guy got it to start fine and he rode it or no, he started it and then he let me ride it once he did it and that thing was so sweet. So much fun, guys. I really wish I could have bought that bike. But if I can't start it, what's the point of having a bike? You know what I mean? God. And I told him, I was like, dude, if I was able to start this bike faster, I would totally just would have bought it. God, it was beautiful. 25 years old, though. 1992. But tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon after work, I guess I'll... Actually, I won't tell you. I mean, it's not a big surprise. And it's not that great of a bike, but it it's it's a really nice bike. I really like them. Definitely a bike that I when I first started getting into motorcycles, I really had a thing for these bikes. And I still oh shoot, foot peg dragon. Let's do some wheelies. <laughs> wheelies. Let's try this again. Oh my god, that was a good one. Oh my god, that was that was a great one. Hell yeah, bro, that's probably my best one yet. I almost fell off. Let's try another one. Sure there's no cars behind me. Give it listen to that. Oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this thing's so cool. So yeah. Yeah, it's been like three weeks since I've uploaded, but I'm definitely gonna have some videos out soon. Hello, Dad. How are you? Yeah, definitely gonna have some videos out soon. The new bike, it's like, it's pretty heavy. It's around 300 pounds. And the guy said I could check it. I know for sure I'll be able to. So there's two guys, right? And they both have the same bike, just different plastics. One of them is super nice with the plastics and everything. And it's $300 cheaper, right? But the other guy, it's all black. It's like a special type of heat spray paint. Um, it's black. I don't know if I like it that much. And it's $300 more. But he is closer in town. And I know for sure I can meet with him. 
The other guy with the night it's a cool plastic. It's a 1998 bike, by the way. The guy with the cool 1998 plastics said just to give him a call tomorrow, see if he's free. So if he's free tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna stop by there. And yeah, it's a kickstart only bike, but apparently it's a lot easier to kick than the DR350, which is good, because no me gusto. Nice Corvette, my dude. Yeah, dude. I'm going on a date tonight with this really pretty Brazilian girl. I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie. And I haven't told like anybody <laughs> what I'm doing. I think only one of my friends knows. Will. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It'll be fun. Yeah, definitely get into that summer weather. Oh god, it's hot today. But it was weird, like the weekend before, it was like, it was like 90, I think. No, no, no. Yesterday was 90 degrees, and then last weekend it was like 50 degrees. God, it was crazy. I was like, boy, this is Texas. That's how Texas weather works. It's all cold, and the next day 90 degrees. Like, how the flip? But dude, that's awesome. That's what I love about Texas. You get that awesome riding weather. And once I get this new bike, it'll be freaking the best. But oh my god. So I sold my bike, right? And it was this pretty cool dude. He I don't think he knew much about riding. He like he was just getting into riding. And he lived in an apartment complex. So he go we sell the bike to him. And we go and hold up. Gotta concentrate. So we sell him the bike, right? And he parks it in the apartment complex parking lot with no cover on the bike or anything, no locks, just in neutral. And I, I should have said something to him just in case it got stolen or anything happened to it, but I didn't. And, oh my God. The next morning the bike was stolen. So basically my old bike got stolen. And that's crazy. Like, I put so much effort into that thing just to see it go down the drain like that. Like, some idiot, some stupid person would want to sell it like that. Or want to steal it like that. <laughs> God, that, dri that drives me insane. Like, I know it wasn't my bike anymore, but still, how could you take somebody's bike like that? That's just insane. That's, oh. People need to be locked up in jail for a long time for stealing motorcycles. And I know I sound like, I sound cringy or whatever, but when you have something that's like really close to you and you spend a lot of time on it, like say a motorcycle and, it just, and somebody just takes it away from you, it's, it hurts, it's upsetting. All that time you've spent just gone. So the bike either went for a joy ride and somebody left it somewhere or they're gonna strip it down and sell it individually and parts. He's gonna be on the black market. Kevin. That was the name of the bike. I guess I never told you. Kev Dog. But yeah, next bike gonna be freaking sick. Gonna be a very nice bike. I think so anyway. And that's about it for this video, guys. Let's make another cringy outro so my friends can judge me. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, face up, y'all. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back.